Listen, I don't want to talk about this for a long time. I do not want this to turn into a 45 minute video. So let's just talk about this live stream real quick. Um, by the way, I'm Udoka. If you've never seen me before, um, I talk about whatever I want on my channel. So if you're going to subscribe, subscribe because you like my vibe. Um, I'm not a black commentary channel. I mean, I'm black and I make commentary, but I don't specifically discuss black, black issues. I'm not a, I'm not like Paris Milan or anything like that. Um, I just talk about whatever I want. And this Jesse Nelson thing is so intriguing. It's really intriguing. Now, the other thing is when you're black and you talk about black issues, um, people who are not black really, I mean, they just come in like flies. <clears throat> they like to come and try to tell you how you should feel about your own blackness. Um, of which I will not tolerate in the comments. I was going to do a whole thing, uh, going on Google with you. Um, here we're even on Google scholar looking up cultural appreciation, looking up cultural appropriation, looking up cultural assimilation. I was going to like discuss each of these, but I don't have time. I mean, I'm already babying you so much. I'm already babying you a lot. So I'm just putting it on the screen to encourage you. For those of you who um, don't have black people close to you in your life, who don't live around or with black people and you're not black, you might be very confused about this subject. So um, get familiar with terms. Um, Google this, Google this, Google this, Google this. We're, we're specifically talking about black fishing. Google what they mean. Okay, get on the same page. Um, if somebody comments something that sounds like you didn't Google, my response to you will be, did you Google first? It, and you, you're going to be like, no. And I'm going to delete your comment. Like, no, <laughs> I'm not tall. No. On these type of topics, I'm not going to tolerate willful ignorance. I'm just not. If you didn't Google it, if you didn't Google, I'm deleting your comment. Okay. I just, I don't have time. And I believe P, I believe black women need to protect their peace. I believe POC women need to protect their peace and POC in general need to protect their peace because there's a lot of uh, unpeace to be had. Now that I got that out of the way, I'm assuming you know what's up. Uh, Jesse Nelson has been accused of black fishing. I said my opinion in my other video. I feel like the actual music video she came out with boys was fine because the song and the video is supposed to be the girl version of Diddy's boys for life. He co-signed it. I don't, there's nothing better that she could have done. She co-signed it. The issue is that she's black, uh, black fishing. And my issue is she has been black fishing for almost a decade. <clears throat> she has been black fishing for nearly a decade. She's black fishing in little mix music videos. Go to this one, Sweet Melody. She's she has been looking this way intentionally for many years. My theory is she didn't like how she looked. She felt that she looked like a basic white girl. She didn't want to look that way anymore. So what do you do? You blackfish. <laughs> and listen, because people are going to be like, in the UK, women just like to make themselves look orange. Okay. 
The issue is not just the skin tone. It's the wigs that she chooses. Even in this interview. I mean, this is. This will do. The wigs that she chooses. The way she inflated her lips. I didn't even think it was possible for her to boom her lips up even more than what it was in the video. And somehow she came on this live and her lips are boomed up even more. I believe she gets cheek filler here. Um, or in the very least, she's putting makeup to hyper emphasize her cheekbones. It's all of this in combination. Plus your day being with a hip hop video. And gives the appearance that you're trying to look like you're black or mixed with black. That's what it looks like. Um, I feel like she's been doing this for nearly a decade. I appreciate the people who let me know her fans have been letting her know she's been black fishing and she or her management have been blocking these people. So the conclusion I drew was that she, um, doesn't care. She's been known and she doesn't care um, when she addressed it with that. I love black culture. I love black people. That shows again that she doesn't care. Um, if you don't understand how that shows she doesn't care, go watch my other video. Um, if you peep game, you peep, you peep game. Um, she doesn't care. She's never cared. And I question why should I now care suddenly? I question, is this a marketing ploy? I, qu I just question a lot of things because it's kind of like with Black Lives Matter, why, why are, you, are you, Tana Mojo, of all people, putting Black Lives Matter on your thing? Like so, suddenly today you decided you care about Black people when you've shown like as recent as a month ago that you don't. You know what I mean? Like it's like, okay, you want you want to... You want me to care about the black fishing now? I, sh I wasn't supposed to care before, but I should care now. You know what I mean? That's how I kind of felt. Um, however, I know the people who have been calling her out for a long time are having a field day because they've been wanting to talk about this. And I agree. I've been wanting to be, I've been wanting to hear it talked about. And I'm indulging. Whatever is suspiciously going on afoot, I'm indulging. Leanne is the only black woman in the group Little Mix, and she's being accused of DMing people um, stuff, urging people to talk about the black fishing. Um, I don't know if she did or not. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she did. Listen, I'm not going to put it past her, but let's react to this actual live stream because um, I had a reaction. I had a mixed reaction. Let's listen. Okay. So, okay. So listen, this is what I want to say. This is very important before I go up this live. The one thing to me that is the corniest thing a human being can do. One of the corniest things in life. People have done this to me for a really fucking long time in my life. As soon as people can't get a bag with you, they tend to want to stop your bag, okay? Now, in my opinion, if, if I was rocking with you for 10 years and there was something so horrible about you and I kept on doing business with you and getting money with you and shit like that for 10 years and then, and then as soon as we part ways, I'm like texting people, telling people to bring shit up negative about you. Immediately, that person has to wear a big red clown nose and a pair of big red fucking clown boots because you're a fucking clown. I give her a thumbs up and a thumbs down for this comment so far. I give her a thumbs up because I, I don't think Leanne is a clown. However, I find it suspicious that you was cool with it for 10 years and suddenly you're not. 
I'm suspicious of your motives. Now, I don't, we don't know the full, here's the thing. We don't know the full story. We don't know, like, why did all the little mixed girls unfollow her? Like, it seems like there's bad blood. It seems like something happened. What, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened behind the scenes. I don't know. But what I do know is, I, I feel weird that all of a sudden you want us to talk about it. You didn't want us to talk about it before. When she was blocking people for bringing it up, you didn't want us to talk about it before. Why do you want to talk about it now? What is your motivation? What's the motivation behind it? So I have to lean towards the green on that. Not, I wouldn't go as far to call her a clown though. Because who knows what's going on behind the scenes. Now, I give her a thumbs down because... Just the other day, she was talking about how black women shouldn't be talking on other black women. That reporter who called her out for that, for that panorama vaccine <clears throat> comment, and she clowned on that reporter, talking about, I can't believe you're a black woman trying to bring another black woman down, and you just doing it for the white man to give you a paycheck. You know, she was talking all that. So it's like, come on, girl. I mean, you are not saying Leanne's name, but we know who you're talking about. And you're doing, you're doing what that reporter lady was doing to you. That reporter lady was trying to hold you accountable. She was trying to help you see that was, you know, why did you tell that story? It's dumb, didn't make sense, and you're, you're not helping the situation, right? She was trying to tell you something. Just like you are trying to, tell Leanne or people like Leanne, you're trying to tell them something. Let's continue. When people part ways, go about your fucking business. Because when you part ways and you do something messy to someone that you were just, you know, having, you know, whatever, whether you brought it up behind closed doors or what, when you try to bring somebody down because you see them continuing to try to pursue their passion to make money to feed their family you are a fucking clown and let me tell you something let me tell you something it's a lot of women out here in the united states that tan get bigger lips get all types of shit done to themselves yeah we know that you know you're one of them. you're one of them by the way i I'm not uh, for shaming getting work done. But Nikki, the women who are tanning, getting their lips done, they are not doing it with the intention to look like they're black or biracial so that they can uh, have a hip hop career. You know what I'm saying? Like black fishing has an intentionality to it that the girls you see at the tanning salon that's they don't they have no intention they have no desire or intention to look like they have a black parent you know when the girls are getting their lips done they get what's called the russian it's literally called the russian it's based off the russian doll they don't get their lips done like this Kylie Jenner lips Jesse has. You know what I mean? We're talking about what appears to be the intention. Not just the act of enhancing yourself. I wear blonde hair, straight blonde hair down to my feet if I want to, when I want to. Um, contact. Whatever. Like, yeah, so do I. But even with blonde hair or contacts, you will never mistake me for a white person. You know what I mean? Nobody is. Nobody has ever gone up to Nicki Minaj or on social media and told her, Nicki, you, I thought you were white, you look white. Guess who we have done that to, though? We've done that to Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim looks like she is trying to be white. It, little Kim looks like she is intentionally trying to look white. 
lightening her skin, putting on the blonde wigs, putting on the contacts, doing plastic surgery, making her nose like thin as a pencil. We feel Lil' Kim is doing body enhancements intentionally to look like a different race. We're talking about intentions of body enhancement. When you're wearing your blonde wig, you do not look like you're trying to be a white person. Actually, I'm sure there's some hoteps who would disagree. Lord, there's some hoteps who, who actually do have a problem with that. But by and large... Um, nobody's mistaking you for a white lady. <laughs> nobody's mistaking you for something that you're not. It doesn't appear that you're intending to look like something that you're not. Like, I do whatever the fuck I want. Everyone is, as long as you're not hurting anybody or speaking negatively about anyone's race or culture, you should be able to enjoy your body, your makeup, your whatever, how the fuck you want it to. I get that. Um, I also, I actually, I actually believe that. Um, and I actually personally agree with that. So, so what that means, cause some people, for some people, the way I view the world is confusing for some people. Like some people can't understand how I can have two ideas at the same time. This happened to me when I was talking about Trisha Paytas and Mysterious T. They're like, oh my gosh, how can you dislike both of those people at the same time? So here, this is how I view it. I do believe you have complete autonomy over your body. Even that Ollie dude who went to, to get plastic surgery to look more Korean, you have the right to do that. You have the right to look however you want to look. Lil' Kim has the right to look like that. Jesse has the right to look like that. However, there are social issues and a social reality that we live in where what you're doing could be offensive to a group of people who are marginalized. So you have to accept that as well. You, you have to accept that you live in a world where people are marginalized and used and abused for what you're trying to do. And if, and I think you should be able to answer for that. Like just legitly answer for that. Uh, I would have so much more respect for Jesse if she just told the truth and like actually addressed the issue head on. That's the issue I have. But yes, there are black people who like literally do not care. Um, I know, I know a lot of people of Nicki Minaj's status, they're the type who don't care for, girl, I gave the reasons why black people will have different viewpoints. I gave those reasons in a past video. I'm not going to get into it right now. But um, there are a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of non-black people who agree with Nicki, <laughs> which is part of the reason why she's, says what she says, but there are black people who do agree with her. If you've ever done business with someone and then you hold a text message and say, oh, when they, when they try to do something else and when they try to move on with their life one day, I'm going to put this text message out and I'm going to end them. You've already ended your fucking self. You will not go any fucking where you won't go anywhere. Because your heart ain't right. If somebody is whatever you say they are, let people figure that out. Let people talk. Fans are going to talk. Fans I disagree with this. I understand, like, in the context of questioning the motives of Leanne, I can understand that. But um just in general i definitely don't agree i definitely feel that if you think something wrong is happening speak out on it um don't just wait for the fans to talk because what can happen is those fans will get blocked or those fans can be drowned out by the super fans etc cetera, etc cetera. but also what this low key makes me think is Nicki Minaj understands that Jesse is blackfishing, right? It's kind of like, 
Um, let's say there's some your kid and you have your sibling and your mom brings home some cookies and well, here's a better example, maybe, okay? Because I could see myself being a very ambiguous parent. Let's say your kid's getting picked on. Um, I mean, somebody's just talking mad shit to your kid about his mama, his daddy, your whole life. C- cursing him out. So you okay giving them that's pop, that's pop. All right. Now, you as a parent, do you condone violence? No, you don't condone. Well, most of us are going to say, no, we don't condone violence. Do you kind of not really give a damn that your kid popped this MF in the mouth? Now, some, I don't know, some people are like, no, nonviolence all the way. He should have just ignored him. Okay, I'm the kind of parent that would low-key be like, oh, you did that. Okay. See how, see how he ain't going to talk shit no more. Um, <laughs> listen, that's just how, that's just me. That's just me. Now, let's say um, another kid tattletales, tattletales on your son or tattletales comes up to you, comes up to me, the parent comes up to you, the parent, and is like, oh my gosh, did you see that your child popped that other kid in the mouth? Oh my God. You know, And how, what's going on through your mind? Well, if you, if you're, if you're like me, where you don't condone violence, but you also kind of feel like that motherfucker deserved it. I'm sorry. (laughs) You kind of have this conflicting feeling and it's just kind of like, rather than trying to proactively get your kid in trouble you you would just rather hey if if the, if the principal finds out the principal finds out do you get what i'm saying i'll use my cookie analogy maybe your mom puts cookies on the table you're only supposed to have one your sibling has two and you go tell oh my gosh my sibling had another cookie they weren't supposed to have another cookie and what's what's your mom thinking your mom's saying like he only took one more just one more like you don't give a damn you know what I mean? You don't give a damn. You understand what was done. You understand what, what that what was done, strictly speaking, broke your rule. But you also don't give a damn. That's how I feel Nicki Minaj is with this black fishing. I feel like Nicki Minaj understands and sees that this girl is black fishing. She knows this girl's black fishing. She knows. Nicki Minaj is not blind. Nicki Minaj knows she's catfishing. Nicki Minaj also kind of doesn't care. And she just kind of feels like, listen, if the, if the fans, I mean, if the fans don't like it, then you, you deal with your fans how you deal with your fans. <laughs> fans are going to continue. People are going to diss people. That's what it is. A lot of the females out right now, it's like they keep on asking for a hate train. It's like they want to say that. A hate train is not when someone doesn't like your song or when someone disses you for a day or two. A hate train is a is an effort by powerful people behind the scenes and on the scenes. That's what I'm saying, y'all. That's why I feel very suspicious about this current black fishing. Yo, if this was new, like if it really was, because this is this is what's also pissing me off. The way people are reporting on it. And they're saying all of a sudden now that she's solo and she made a hip hop song, she's black fishing. No, this is not all of a sudden. This is, and it's especially the non-black commentators, drama people who are saying this is like, can you mind your business? She hasn't, this is not new. She has been doing it for at least three years, in my opinion, at least nine. (laughs) Nine years, I have been looking at this woman's face, wondering what the hell. (laughs) And it makes me wonder, what is happening? Is somebody bigger, powerful, behind the scenes? Listen, I'm in the dark. I'm not a part of this industry. I'm just a viewer. You know, in front of the world. 
to try to end your career and your life and the way that you feed your family. That's what a hate train is, right? That's how, that's what, what I, why I started using the term. If someone says they don't like music or they don't like your outfit or they don't like the, that's not a hate train. That's just people saying they don't like your song or your outfit or your hair. Everyone has to deal with it. It seems like the new females, it's almost like they don't want to be critiqued ever. It's like, I don't know who is she talking about. Who is she talking about here now? Everyone is just supposed to praise you twenty four seven. Why would you even want that? Let me tell you what happens when that happens. What happens is put out an album doesn't translate. The sales won't translate because you people have been lying to you nonstop, and then they haven't told you that they don't like a song, they don't like this, or they don't like that. Then when you put an album out and you think everybody loves you, I've seen I don't it recently. Know who she's talking about? You, you know, they put an album out and it doesn't sell what they want to sell. Well, that's because a lot of people are lying to you for whatever reason. You should want people to be honest with you. Let me just, I didn't get, get a chance to say that. Now, in terms of, in terms of this situation, right? I've seen so many people utilize situations when it, you know, when, when they felt it was beneficial to them. Um, certain people, you might be, you might be black and, and white mixed. And now you're attempting to be, you know, black this, black that, but you may not have been doing it eight, seven, six, five years ago. But see what I'm saying? She knows Jesse Blackfish and she knows. Now it's convenient. Whatever, what your fucking boat. But what we won't have is putting out tech messages to try to ruin someone and telling people and influencers to talk badly about this girl um i know singers that tan a lot you might not peep because you gotten used to it it's their fucking business it's their fucking right it's different when someone comes out and pretends to be black says, oh yeah i got i'm, I'm but the thing is i mean listen i'm i wasn't like a little mix super fan i didn't watch i actually rarely watch any of their little mix interviews i just like their music videos and you know watch them go accept their awards and stuff like that um but it means something if 90 percent of the people are saying i didn't even know she's not black i didn't know she's only white like if pe if a lot of people are saying this, it kind of means something. May she didn't explicitly say I'm black, I'm part black, but it's sounding like she doesn't deny it. Otherwise, why are all these people so surprised that she's just white? <laughs> I mean, what is that? That's different from someone who goes on the beach and or goes on vacation in tans or likes how they look tan when and she's not going on the beach in tan like this is not <laughs> natural ro -ho -ho. someone has Lord. been trapped the one of the things that people do is i know a lot of women i, I do it uh, and a lot of female singers that i know do it put on darker makeup on their legs so that their legs look even to more toned um jesse is someone who has been being fat shamed from getting up her career and she's had to oh is that the explanation yo is that the explanation i know we do that in body fitness competitions if you get into physique competitions body fitness competitions where the goal is to show off your muscles they get tan they get tan very very dark they get tan very dark not their face so they they don't tan their face they just tan like neck down <laughs> it looks super it looks super weird they don't tan their face or their hands or their feet <laughs> but they'll tan themselves brown because it, uh the melanin creates d deeper shadows so it gives the appearance that you're like 
you can flex, but if you're pasty white, it doesn't show up as good as when you're brown. So they're doing it for a specific purpose that is standard in the industry. And like, yes, so when I compete, it's like, it feels wonderful to not have to deal with spray tan. Um, <laughs> but um, is that what she's saying now? Because Jessie has been dealing with being overweight. She's making her skin darker so she can look toner. No, um, no, 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 no. What? To go through that shit on TV without anyone... No, so now she she's tanning her whole body brown to look toner, slimmer. No, I need to chew on that. I need uh uh. Can y'all leave com comment below, please? It's not it's not fully mathing. It's not clicking for me up here. Um, mm -mm. no, uh, I'm changing her. Mm. So I'm sure that one of the things that they started that she started doing was putting on more tan i even started doing, if you look at my body super see she you see how she know she's black fishing listen face like i remember shout out to the man who i used to go to and be butt ass naked and he used to be saying that <laughs> <laughs> it's this man that i used to go to in la and he would do my spray tans i stopped doing this actual spray tans because i don't like the way it smells after a while and so i would just we just do the the actual body right or if i go you know i'm in the sun i but that's just one of the female celebrities do. Now, I'm not saying that someone should get more of a tan or not more of a tan. Yeah. Unless. That's it. She don't care. No, no. I know someone's going to be like, oh, my gosh, you're so nitpicky. She just said she doesn't care about the tan. But I'm saying what she's saying about the tan, it represents what she believes about Jesse black fishing. She's saying she doesn't care. That's a person to me is pretending that they are a race that they're not and lying. And I could have, I could name a couple of people that done lied to y'all and told y'all that y'all that they was a certain race that they're not. So where she draws the line is your black fishing and you're actively lying. But again, my opinion is that if this many people are today r realizing this woman is <laughs> not part black, then you probably were lying by omission. Sweetheart, take them text messages and shove it up your fucking ass. Because when you do clown shit, I got to treat you and talk to you like you a clown. Don't have to come out and try to ruin anyone. Let her have her, let her enjoy this time. If you was in this woman's group and you ain't talk about this shit for 10 years, and as soon as you see she got a video come out <laughs> with Nicki Minaj and Puffy, now you sending the stations text messages and all this shit. Print them text messages out. Bust your ass open and shove it up your motherfucking ass. Okay? And stop trying to hurt people and kill people's lives and career. This is the way people feed their families. Stop. If you want a solo career, baby girl, just say that. You can go out and put She's your own She's dragging music. her now. See, this is where I'm sure people are going to have an issue. It's like, girl, you were just crying about how a black woman was dragging you on TV. You dragging Leanne You love you. Who has talked about all the colorism and racism she's faced being the black member of the group. Like you, you dragging somebody who actually has faced issues related to what we're talking about. Now I'm sure, I'm sure people are going to be talking about that. That's it. You don't have to attack someone else. If that's how you felt, why would you keep keying with her and being in the video with her for 10 years? But, bro, I have to agree. I'm sorry, but all of y'all was key keying. The mixed girl, the black girl, and the white girl was key keying with Jesse for 10 years. I'm so, I'm like, I don't know. Did they sign some kind of NDA that you're, they're never going to discuss the black fishing? I don't know. I don't know, girl. 
I, I, I have to ask. I don't know. If I ever met Little Mix, I would ask him, why was you key keying if you guys really did have a problem with her black fishing? Yes. Now, all of a sudden, she's not in a video with you. You have some negative, evil <laughs> thing to do and say. Stop. <laughs> oh, look at Nikki like okay. face. So <laughs> Jesse was like, <clears throat> and Nikki was stone cold. <laughs> Five minutes. All of these singers that y'all follow, and all of these reality TV people that y'all follow, tell them to take off their spray tan and their tans and their lips and their um. But girl, now you complain because you've already shown us that you know that she black fishing. You've already shown us that you know black fishing is different than lip injections or getting tan. So don't. And that now you're trying to act like it's the same thing. Everything they're doing. That means the black girls can't wear a long blonde weave. No, uh, girl, you know, you know what you're saying. This isn't the logic the that you were want. using earlier. When we want, how we want. Yeah. So please stop. It's just, it screams just insecurity. It screams that you're jealous. Oh. But I wonder if Jesse is picking up that, yes, bitch, you're blackfish. I wonder if she at least picked that up. Like, I wonder if somewhere in the back of her mind, like, it's there. Like, it's there. Yeah, girl, Nicki Minaj, who was on your fucking song, <laughs> is telling you that you're black fishing, bitch. You black fishing. I wonder if there's somewhere in her mind that's Only there. jealous people do things like this. And now you just look like a big jealous bozo. Please stop. I love you guys. I love all of y'all. But please don't do this. Okay. Go out, everybody. Listen to the boys. It's Jesse Nelson featuring Nicki Minaj. We recreated a, 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 a Diddy, a Bad Boys classic. And to everybody out there right now that's watching, people who've struggled with their weight, people who've struggled with mental health. No, she turned it into weight and mental health. No. <laughs> Man, that's how that's when you wrap it up because you know the topic you was talking about ain't shit. Health issues. Stop reading the comments on the internet. Be happy. Be happy. Let and I understand what she's trying to say, but I just I just as somebody who diagnosed depression, um, the worst advice you can give a depressed person is be happy. I'm done. <laughs> I know she's, that's not what she's trying to say, but it's kind of remembering the good times. Let these people be miserable by their motherfucking self. As long as you're not hurting and attacking people, be happy. You're beautiful. I know, I know what she's saying is like, you were happy before you read the comment. So don't read the comment. Continue being happy. <laughs> I know that's what she's trying to say. For those of you who are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's just saying be happy. That I interpret it the way I just said it. You're amazing. You're epic. Somebody in this world cares about you. We need you here. Fuck people who have something negative to say about you. They're clowns. They're jealous, miserable clowns. <clears throat> Thank you, babe. If it, honestly, like, that really means... Okay, here we go. Jesse is going to show us once again that she doesn't give a damn. It's a law. And I just, as well, I think while we're on this subject. While we're on the subject of what? Of black fishing, right? While we're on the subject of black fishing. I just personally want to say that, like, you know, my intention is never, ne was never ever to offend people of color with this video and, and my song because. That's how you know she doesn't care. She thinks people are mad about the video and the song. She's not understanding that it's a combination of the damn fact that you're friggin' black fishing coupled with the video and the song. Like together it makes your intention it makes your intentions quite questionable and you have yet to address it. 
You're still not a drill. You're addressing the video and the song. The video and the song, in my opinion, is fine. You got bad boy to co-sign. But you're not addressing the actual issue, which is you're black fishing. Why are you black fishing? What are your intentions? What is your mindset? Do you understand what that means? What it means to the people you're trying to look like, et cetera, et cetera. You know, like I said, growing up as a young girl, like idea, this is the music up. that the best, like for me personally, like 90s, 2000s hip hop R&B music, I will stand to celebrate. Yeah, this is just, I love black people. I love black culture again. Really, no, right. yeah, um, really that, we're done we're done so that was nikki uh what do you think let me know your thoughts like i said also black people have a variety of opinions on their own culture um so in the comments since we're talking about black culture, um, I hope it logically makes sense to you as well that uh, you would want to hear from black people, talk about their own culture. And I, if I see somebody who is not black trying to dominate and center their feelings about black culture, I'm just going to delete it. That is not culturally sensitive. If this was a video about Korean culture, I would not allow you to try to dominate your opinion over the opinions of actual Korean people. You get what I'm saying? If your goal is to be culturally sensitive, you will Google these terms. You will Google them. You will learn about them. And even in my video, <laughs> you will, you know, demonstrate the logic of what cultural appreciation actually means, which is trying to learn a culture that you're not from. Okay. This video is 40 minutes. I, I thought it would be quick. I don't know why I thought it would be quick. Um, but yeah, you just got a black chick's commentary on what Nicki Minaj had to say. Thank you. 20 people watch this video and I appreciate you a lot. Um, if you agree, like the video, if you disagree, leave me a comment, letting me know why. And until next time, much love, much luck, peace out. Mm -hmm.